Hey, everybody. So, um, I made a post that said that, um, attention men, um, you all need to know before you ingest a woman's cooking, um, whether she would heal you or kill you, right? Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about what that actually means because I had a couple of people, you know, inquire what that means because I'm not talking food, though, is what I was telling folks. Um, so what that means is women, we have wounds and um, our vagina and our uterus. Um, the uterus is the womb space. So um, a, we are a collection. Women, we are a collection of everything we've taken in. We're a collection of all the trauma we've experienced, our ex-relationships, uh, mother-father issues, everything that has gone on in our lives sits in our womb space. So unless we do the clearing of those negative interactions of those uh, ex-relationships, unless we've done the healing, we house that in our womb. So if a man who's coming into us is going to take on and ingest all of that recipe <laughs> that we have been cooking up in our uterus, you're going to take that energy on, whether you know it or not. So a lot of people put emphasis on the fact that men go in women and, you know, we take on the man's energy, which we are uh, reciprocating. You know, we're a cosmic, microcosmic orbit that occurs when we are sexually interactive with each other. So um, with that being said, um, the man's penis is made to actually clear out the semen from other men that has been up in her. So you're actually in her removing other men space. But if the woman hasn't done the healing work for herself, you can't remove everything that she's housed, not just in her womb, but it has flowed throughout her entire being. So now it's part of who she is and her thought processes and her mentality, the way she moves, the way she, um, the energy she holds in her home, the energy that she, she has, um, around her space, the people that she associates with, like everything, even the food that she eats, whether she smokes or drinks, uh, alcohol or she drinks water, like whatever she does. And whatever her recipe is, it can either heal you or it can kill you. If she's gossiping, if she's toxic, if she's always upset or angry or depressed or mad or every little thing you do is irritating, whatever, you know, or if she's someone that recognizes her faults and helps you do the work and eats healthy and grows and gardens and talks positivity and, and light and energy into you and to herself first and then into you. Um, a woman that, that prays and sends you positive energy that uplifts you, uplifts herself and does the healing work of her past traumatic experiences and things that she sees that makes her better. She incorporates in her daily life. You have to know the type of woman that you're with and what she's taken in and what she's allowed to house within her. She's going to bring to you and either she's going to heal you or she's going to kill you. So take time to learn who you're with and the woman that you are with and the woman that you choose to partner with because all of that makes a difference. And I know we always put the emphasis on, you know, the woman, the woman, the woman. But what about the man? Because the men suffer too. Men suffer too. Men suffer in silence. That's the biggest thing. Men suffer in silence and women we're out about it. We have our groups. We have our talks. We'll post. And men, they see that as, as bitch assness. They ain't fit to post every little thing that happens in their relationships, but they hurt. So I wanted to put that out there just so you all can understand what I meant about that post because it was on my heart to share that. So have a great day. <laughs>